Right, right now we are talking with John from Napa Auto Parts in Eads, and we want to hear, John, what you're hearing and what you're seeing, everything that you're experiencing. Uh, where are you right now? John, are you with us? Yes, I am. Uh, hi, John. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Tell us a little bit more about where you're situated relative to the storm. Well, we're still in the store. Uh, through the tornado portion of it, it was probably four miles south of town. Uh, on the ground for at least 10 minutes, and we stood and watched. We was prepared to go to a basement, which we have a building next to us that has a basement in it. So uh, we were there and watched the whole thing, and now it is raining so heavily, uh, you can't hardly see across the street. Wow, so it sounds like visibility is really reduced on top of seeing those strong storms. Yes. Hear me, this is Bart Bedsoul. In your mind, do you believe there may have been structures in the path of this tornado or some of the uh, other tornadoes no, in the area? No, I, I don't think so. I think the area that it was in is big, uh, free of all buildings. There might be one old farmhouse out there, but uh, from our vantage point, it's really hard to tell exactly where it was at. We're just estimating it four miles. John, do you feel like most people in your area know what to do in a situation like this? And on top of yeah. that, do people have tornado shelters that they can go to in the event that they find themselves uh, in the path of a tornado? Yes, yes. Everybody's pretty well covered. Uh, the town has had the tornado sirens going for at least 30 minutes now, and they are still going. So, Do you, do you see people uh, in the store right there with you? Or do you see people driving around town, or it, does it look like the streets have cleared out pretty well? Um, as a result of all the warnings and the sirens going on? Well, there's still a lot of traffic here because we still have Highway 27 is right in front of our store. Okay. So there's still a lot of traffic going by, and we have some vehicles that pulled up right beside our building trying to look for protection, So, and that's fine with us. That's, that's great to hear. Um, this area, if you could, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but, uh, you know, obviously we have homes, obviously we have Napa Auto Parts and a lot of businesses there, but based on what you know about the geography in the area, would you say that these hit on the outskirts of town where there's not going to be a lot of structures and schools in the path, uh, in the direct path of at least uh, the main twisters that you've seen? Um, I think everybody's, everything's going to be okay. Uh, the people on the highway sure need to be looking for some safe area. I don't know where they're going to go, but uh, here in town, I know the churches are open and uh, so forth, and they've all got basements. So. Excellent, John. Listen, we really appreciate the first-hand account, and we hope uh, that you and your family stay safe, uh, as well as everybody uh, in your community there. Uh, please keep us posted on uh, anything else that you see or hear that you want to make other people aware of. John, thanks so much for your time, okay. and be careful. You bet. All right, now we're seeing some, some new pictures just coming into us. Now it looks like a, a